What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to color a leopard skin pattern. Now what you guys see here is a picture of La Cienega Boulevardes from the Proud Family which was just released not too long ago and I've been into the series ever since. So if you recall from last week I drew Penny Proud and I used her on a Procreate tutorial. Today we have La Cienega Boulevardes. Also, any Proud Family fans know that La Cienega usually wears like a red long sleeve jacket. But today I changed the jacket, but for this tutorial I left it out so I can show you guys how to do a leopard skin pattern with just a shirt. And we're going to do that with some Copic markers. So the Copic markers you'll need for this video are YR23, YR24, YR27. So those are the colors we're going to need for the base colors to get those in place. For the actual pattern we're going to need a brown which is E37 and for the actual pattern we're going to use a black. So with that being said I'm going to zoom in on her shirt and we can get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a base color of our YR23. Okay and then for our midtone it's going to be YR24 is going to be slightly darker so I don't know if you'll be seeing it on camera but that's what I'm applying right now okay now for the shades I'm going to use my YR27 I'm going to apply a minimal amount of shades on each end and then now all we're going to do is pretty much work backwards so we can get a good blend in place so this is our YR24 to help blend the other to help blend the darker color in with our base color. All right, and to finish it up, I'm going to use my base color, which is YR23, and blend it all back together. All right, so now we got a golden yellow in place, and that's what we need. We could have possibly went um, brighter in terms of the yellow, but we did use some blend, so that's what made it slightly darker, but that's okay. We got a golden yellow in place, and that's all that matters. So, setting those aside, we're done with those. All we got, all we got left to do is to include the patterns. So, here's the black. I'm going to set that to the side for now. Now I'm going to use my brown to include some spots, pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to use the brown. And and really, you can use your least dominant hand. Now, I, I usually draw with my right hand. I can use my left hand to draw some spots because there's no definite shape for these. You can draw them pretty much anywhere, but don't make them too close together because we got to apply the black. Got a spot here. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Got a little space right there. And we can always come back to the brown and add more spots if we want. But for now, let's go in with the black and just work around the brown spots. So like a pattern that can do something like this. You can have it come all the way around. You can have it um, having a big old gap like this. And it doesn't necessarily have to be around the brown. You can actually overlap the brown and do something like this. And it's okay if your lines are jaggedy. We're using a marker here and um, we're using the brush tip as well. So don't always count on it being a very, very like precise mark, if that makes sense. And now what we're pretty much missing at this point, we can include some black spots here and there. We can make them big. We can make them small. But let's try to scatter them like we did with the um, like we did with the brown marker. Try to scatter them all over the shirt, and then any other spots that we can fix, we can do that now while we still have the black. And like I said, we can always come back to the brown. Um, there is a tiny space right here that I want to fill in. 
and then just go in with the brown and or black on it and fix that up but anyways that's how you draw a leopard skin pattern let me zoom back out so you guys can see the entire illustration so this is for any proud family fans out there if you want to see la cienega in a leopard skin pattern here you go but that's pretty much how you do it super easy super simple and of course i use multiple colors for this illustration which will pop up somewhere on the screen but there's my drawing on la cienega boulevardes if you liked the video or found it useful give it a like and a comment subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and i'll see you guys in my next video I'm back,